Okay. Hello and happy Earth Day. This is Dr. James Hayes Bohannon, geographer from Bridgewater State University. And I'm Vernon Domingo, also a professor at Bridgewater State University in Massachusetts. And we want to share some Earth View and Earth Day greetings with you. Yeah, it's a sp so, happy Earth Day 2020. For about the past decade, we have spent every Earth Day at the Massachusetts State House, shown here in, um, in Nurses Hall, as an outreach project of Bridgewater State University's Department of Geography and our Center for the Advancement of STEM Education. It's also a perfect place to display our glorious Earth in this globe, this 20-foot globe, uh, in this marble and granite center, which uh, is really important. It's called the Nurses Hall, paying homage to nurses who have served the, the country and the world all the time. And this has been part of our um, advocacy for geography education and for education about the world and our global community in our celebration of Earth Day, in fact, Earth Week. And this has been recognized as uh, an important outreach program by National Geographic, which includes that Nurses Hall image with Earth View on page one of its Geography for Life National Geography Standards. We're very pleased to have that there. And of course, this year we're celebrating 50 years of Earth Day itself. Um, a, a day every year that's celebrated now and more and more by more people probably than any other uh, civil holiday uh, is a time to recognize the importance of the earth and the challenges that we face in trying to uh, make the earth safer and healthier for all. And while as geographers we always think of every day being earth day and our sense of obligation to our planet and maintaining a, a fully balanced planet but this is a particular day where we can deliberately focus on those issues of our relationship to the planet, particularly environmentally. And, and since that first day, Earth Day in 1970, we have made progress on so many environmental issues, and we've been presented with even more environmental challenges that, that we still need to, to stand up uh, and address. And geography is a big part of being able to do that. We've had some fun bringing Earth, uh, Earth View to the State House every time we bring it. We meet legislators, uh, tourists, marathon runners, sometimes our own alumni, uh, people from all walks of life and all parts of the world seem to pass through these halls and we enjoy meeting them here uh, each year. We miss doing that this year. So we're reaching out virtually just to talk about the Earth for a few minutes. What uh, pleases us every year uh, this time when we go to the State House, we have visitors from around the world coming uh, to the Boston State House. This is normally in the week when we have the Boston Marathon with people coming from countries all over the world. And they come into the State House and are amazed and surprised, but very pleased to see this global perspective being presented in the State House in Massachusetts. Part of the fun of EarthView is that um, for reasons of hygiene, we always wear socks inside of Earthview, so we try to have some fun with the socks we do wear. And then we usually present a little lesson about a very important part of the Earth, which is water. And this is a lesson that Dr. Domingo created in his own backyard, and he can tell you a little bit about what's in that box. There are 100 round beads in that box, and they've been painted. You can get a sense of that here. And what it shows is a percentage of water that's actually available, very small percentage as drinking water. We have a large percentage in the oceans, of course, uh, but a small percentage is drinkable. And so the message here is to convey to use water appropriately uh, to make sure we don't waste that, but also to be aware of the fact that many people in the world do not have good access to clear, clean water. And that's one of the lessons we try to imp implement with our students uh, at all levels. So EarthView itself is not usually at the State House. The rest of the year we take EarthView, and now we actually have two of these EarthView globes. We take the EarthView program 
as, and we think of it as a portable globe classroom. We usually set it up in a school gym uh, all day on a Friday at a given elementary or middle school or high school, wherever uh, we're able to arrange uh, for classes to come visit us. And we take students about 20 or so at a time inside the earth. And uh, in that way, we've reached a total of about 115,000 students so far, mostly in Massachusetts. And remember, they get a chance not just to see the, this earth globe on the outside, but also to go inside. Uh, you can see the fan there that keeps it inflated uh, about 20 foot tall. In building on the success of our EarthView program, we've also been able to uh, acquire flat maps, floor maps of the various continents, plus the state of Massachusetts that we take to schools as our Earth Map program. And we've been training in-service teachers to use these maps on their own for both physical and human geography lessons at a continental scale. And we've uh, been very pleased to have these uh, on a lending program throughout the Commonwealth. And it's a wonderful experience walking on these maps. You can see the scale here. So um, we introduce a number of concepts, geographic concept of relative and absolute location and distance, relationship between land and water masses and so on. And, uh, and these maps, National Geographic maps, are particularly good in sh showing us all these land features. And, and even as professional geographers, every time we walk onto one of these maps, we learn something new about the Earth. Uh, in fact, the, the map I'm standing on in this image is uh, where I really began to understand better the, the phenomenon of giant uh, surf waves at Nazare, Portugal. I was able to understand that phenomenon just a little bit better by standing on this map and observing it from a different point of view. So we really uh, are pleased to be able to take these out to schools throughout the Commonwealth. And that, as you can see, is, is a North Pole. Uh, and we speak a great deal about environmental issues. And in this case, about what's happening, in the, especially in the North Polar area, with the melting of ice uh, and the changes that that will bring about environmentally, economically, and politically in our world. The uh, EarthView is also a great example of something that's called STEM to STEAM, the idea of science education merging with the arts. This is a, a truly uh, amazing work of art. Uh, neither of us are artists. We did not create EarthView. We're pleased to be able to use it. Um, but it's a way of using the arts to convey science and social science education. We travel a lot with EarthView. Each push pin on this map is a school or other venue to which we have taken our EarthView program uh, throughout the Commonwealth. It's also gone abroad, incidentally. Uh, which countries have we been to, James? So far, we have just been to um, Brazil and Nicaragua. We have um, plans to take it to Morocco and to uh, Jordan. Uh, we, in fact, we were hoping to go to Jordan this June, but for obvious reasons that's been postponed. But uh, we have a, a standing invitation with some of our partner institutions uh, around the world. As soon as we are able to travel again, we'll be getting EarthView out to other places. But we have taken it as far as our partner programs in uh, Brazil and Nicaragua. One of the exciting things when we take it to schools uh, where we have students whose parents or themselves have been born in other different countries, the excitement uh, and connection that they have between themselves here and their home country is, is very, very touching. And, and we really enjoyed seeing that being talked about through the schools. And we use that as a teaching moment as well. In, in Massachusetts and Rhode Island, uh, as in other parts of the United States perhaps, but we especially notice it here, we really are a global community. And one day we were really struck at one particular school we were visiting, how many countries were represented either in the first or second generation by the students we met just in first and second grade. They had truly come from all over the world and for them to be able, for the students we were visiting to be able to show each other and point out with a laser pointer where, where they were coming from around the world. Uh, it was a reminder of, of how connected we really are. And it normalizes the idea 
for us, but also to other students in the class, that normalizes the idea of the global connection and this variety of a hundred and odd countries that really form one community and one earth uh, uh, grouping. And there is a sense of wonder, uh, no matter how many times we go into Earthview, being able to see our earth represented this way and to um, connect that to whatever other subjects we have been studying about the earth uh, with, with the uh, people we visit, with the young people we visit. This is one of our other Earthview team members with a, with a young person. One Letting thing it, about this particular map, as I look at it, uh, one of the lessons we talk about uh, where this young man is pointing, where his point is at the end, uh, that's an area in Southeast Asia where a great deal of our spices come from. And so to make that connection with this large globe about something that we take for granted in our kitchens shows how connected we are. Without those spices, um, our food will be bland. And so we explore that, the history of the spices, why they are there, uh, the impacts of colonization, and the globalization of cultures that we have today. Our Earthview program is also very much connected to what we're doing in higher education geography in uh, Bridgewater and elsewhere throughout the Commonwealth. Uh, and in the case of, of uh, Bridgewater uh, State University, we have a very active geography club and they wanted to be sure to be included in our Earth, uh, Earth Day greetings to at the State House. Some of them would have been with us today. Uh, and since they couldn't be with us today in person, they are with us in uh, spirit. And uh, they're shown here enjoying some of the other uh, maps and globes uh, available to them uh, and that they have themselves made for our campus. And they realize only too well the geography is so important uh, to study. Uh, it's an applicable subject in all sorts of fields. Uh, people can get jobs in geography. They can explore it. Uh, doing all sorts of research at local levels for retail, for wholesale activities, for economic, uh, uh, environmental impacts. All of these are what geography is, can do and what our students can do after graduating. And this image is uh, from a couple of years back at Bridgewater, uh, Bridgewater State at the State House. This is a group of some of our faculty members from the department as well as some of our uh, students at that time, uh, most of them have now uh, graduated and are in service teachers or doing other uh, geography world work, both uh, near and far. And over the course of the dozen years we've had Earthview, we've had a tremendous uh, number of students working with us as undergraduate student workers. And this is uh, most of them we captured in this mosaic. We call them Wranglers. That's what our first uh, volunteer student worker called herself, and we we use that term formally for all of the all of the people who work with the EarthU program. And uh, as we said, many of them are out working either as teachers or in other capacities as geographers uh, around Massachusetts and around the world. And this has broadened their mind, and of course ours as well as faculty members. And this is our final slide. Usually when we come to uh, Earth Day at the State House, we're in Nurses Hall, but this is from a, a, another perspective. We had Earth View at the State House in the Great Hall of Flags. This was a day we were at the State House as part of representing and advocating for public higher education, which of course is working very critically during a difficult time in the Commonwealth, doing our best to serve our students and communities. And so we thank the legislature for its support of uh, higher education in the Commonwealth. And please know that we're doing all we can to, uh, to make the best use of the resources we have for improving life, uh, both locally and globally here in Massachusetts. And with that, thank you very much. And we look forward to another Earth uh, Day uh, back in real life together in the State House.